What up, James? It's your boy Toot 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 James, and I'm back in the building with another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. Today is just a little beginner's guide for all the newbies out there that are just starting or have been playing for a while and still kind of confused what to do. Let me give you guys a few tips. So, for one, which is something new that they brought out, pay attention to your solo events. Now, your solo events gives you a lot of goodies. See, I haven't started yet. But let's say, like, the level up, and you go to rewards. Like, see, you get gold, ISO, health potions. You get T3, basic catalytic fragments, revives, signature stones, you name it. Units. And, uh... Class catalyst fragments, even gold. So, if you want to start off, get some goodies real quick. Focus on soul events. It's definitely, I recommend that. Number two, go into the quest mode. Now, I know a lot of you may start off, you got a bunch of two stars, war stars. You're like, man, where's the four stars coming? Da -da -da -da. Listen, the four stars will come as you continue to play throughout the game. Don't focus so much on trying to get the four stars. Just focus on building your current roster. And that time will come where you'll get more. So, for instance, if you finish Act 1, you'll get a three-star hero. And then also you have a chance, another three or four-star with the premium. And you see, you get a bunch of ISOs in between to help boost up your squad. So you can progress into Act 2. Seeing that once you get to Act 2, look, you get two three stars, and then it just gets better from there. Especially when you get into Act 3, boom. You guarantee your first four star at Act 3. So just be patient. Some people get lucky. They get a four star in the beginning. Off a premium. Kudos to you. Players like me, I had to wait. I got my first four star three months into the game. So, you know, it's definitely luck when it comes to the crystals, but, you know, it's better to start in the act first and then work your way around. Tip number three. Do not, I repeat, do not buy unit packs unless they have deals like this. See, like 50% off a Star Lord's bag. Boom. That is a purchase. Wait for things like this. Because, look, when you get things like this, like this one was on sale for $1.99 to Peter Parker wallet. I already, I already got it already. But, like, don't don't waste your money trying to get these units thinking, you know, it's going to benefit you. Wait for deals like this where it's worth your money. Don't worry about the units. You gain units as you go. You can save up through the solo events, through the acts, and through arenas. So don't worry about buying unit packages all right tip number three was that was that my three i did solo no oh, tip number four sorry <laughs> i'm ready to lose the track so tip number four feature crystals now i know a lot of people when there's new champions in the game they are feature crystals you want to be the first ones to get it cool i understand that Nine times out of ten, they are not worth it. Sometimes it's worth the gamble. Sometimes it's not. Don't try to gamble every time because you're just going to be disappointed when you get that two-star or you get that three-star you don't want. And then you're sitting there bummed out thinking you should have saved the units. So when it comes to uh, feature crystals, my advice, yes, is enticing. I've done it a few times as a beginner player. Avoid it at all costs. All right, tip number four. Five. See, see, I'm already losing myself. Five. <laughs> okay, we on five. Remember that. J, 2J, we on number five. Got it. Okay. So tip number five, arenas. Now, I know some of you, even when I started, arenas was a pain in the butt. Didn't want to do it, too time-consuming, yada, yada, yada. 
But in due time, you will come to understand arenas are a vital part to this game. Because the arenas gives you the battle chips to open those arena crystals, which gives you more gold, more ISO, more units. Take advantage. If you don't have enough, don't start off in a 3 for 3. I started off just doing the quick matches. And just keep doing the quick matches till your roster gets bigger. And then you start doing the 3 for 3. Don't just jump into the 3 for 3 already. And then, you know, you get your butt kicked. Then you're like, dang, it's not worth it. No. Start off with the 1 versus 1. Stack up those crystals. When your team gets stronger, then you can work your way to the 3 for 3. Next tip. Like I said, this is just for the beginners or people who already started, but not sure. Do not, I repeat, do not sell no champs. Like, look, I even have one stars in my roster. I got a bunch of two stars in my roster. I don't sell no champs. Reason being, one, it hurts your hero rating. Two, if you really look at it, like let's say if I want to sell right now, you're not really getting much. Like, why risk a champion look for that little bit of shards? That's a waste. Like, take a look at a three star. Let's say I wanted to sell a three star. I'm gonna pick one that's already maxed out. Let's say if I wanted to sell Dr. Voodoo. Look, only 135. Yeah, you're getting good ISO, but what's the point? Yeah, you gotta wait again to get the uh, the champion, and the more you the you know if you keep the champion in your roster and you continue to dupe, you have chances of getting those max signature crystals, which allow you to get a slim chance of winning Iron Fist, but you get some four star shards and more stuff you need to advance in the game. So my advice: do not, do not sell any champs. Doesn't matter if they're garbage. Whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, see, they even give you that warning. Don't, don't, don't bother. It's, it's not, it's not worth the risk. Save your champions at all costs. Next tip. Alliances. Now, don't expect to be 10K, 20K overall. Hopping into a three, four mil alliance. It doesn't work that way. So you want to start off small, go into those 400K, 500K alliances, build up your team, make a name for yourself. Like how I started, I started off in like a 500, 600K. The alliance noticed that, you know, I wanted to go ahead and become stronger. Then the team worked better, you know, as a whole. Then I branched off. I was maybe you know, 80, 90K. I got lucky. I landed in a 3 mil alliance. And... It was a strain because they expected a lot out of me, and my roster was not up to par with the rest of them. But it, they taught me a lot in the game as far as how to progress, and this is why I'm the leader that I am today. That 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 alliance exposed me to a lot. So sometimes it's good if you get lucky and you're in the 80, 90K range, and you do manage to get into a three, two, three mil alliance, they will teach you a lot on how to progress in the game. But in the beginning, don't expect to jump in those real quick because they're going to think you're leeches when you're probably not, and it's going to hurt you in the long run. So always keep that in mind. Now, where else would I like to take you? Okay, next tip. Stack up all your catalysts. Right, this is very vital because I know a lot of people, like me in the beginning, was hurting for T3s, T2s, and you're like, man, where did I get it from? Mind you, these things run daily. If you go ahead and 100% each one of these, there's a good chance you will get two to three of each catalyst. Guaranteed. Sometimes you get two, sometimes you get lucky three, or you may, you know, you probably got some fragments, and you'll form an extra one along the way. So like I said, these are daily Take advantage of these. Your team don't even have to be that strong. I see recommended 2,500. You don't need to go with all your, your max champs, but it's definitely coming handy. Also, same with these. You're going to need these in the long run. So you treat these daily quests class 
like the regular ones. You know what I'm saying? That each 24 hours, you get a different class every day except for Sunday. Sunday is the free fall, which you'll get like a random class. Take advantage of these, rack them up, save them up. So when it's time to upgrade, you can just upgrade. You don't have to fish around trying to, you know, scatter your, your catalyst to get the upgrades. And last but not least, let's go into the crystals. This will definitely help you. And that is the arena crystals. Now, the reason why I say these are so vital in the beginning of the game is because, let's scroll down, is because you're going to need a lot of goals in the beginning. You're going to need energy refills. You're going to need ISOs. This is the way to go, especially for a younger, newer player. The Arena Crystals is your best friend. Now, nine times out of ten, you'll get mostly gold and ISO out of this, but sometimes you, you get that 45 units here and there. Sometimes you get a max energy refill where you can use to go back into the um, quest. Take advantage of these. These will help you progress. Like, I saved up 100K on my last video trying to get Punisher, and I got well over 100 units, over 200K gold. Like, these, like I said, are your best friend. So these are my few tips for beginner players or newbie players who already started, don't know where to go or any sense of direction. Hope this video helps you out and guides you along the way as you become a better player. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Follow your boy on Twitter at 2J8M, the number 3S. Let me know how you feel about my tip video. If there's any tips that I missed, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And, you know, let's have that discussion. This is your boy, 2J8M, and I'm signing out.